Hello, and welcome back to Tracer Code Seal 4. Uh, I might be recording slightly last minute, a little itty bitty. Uh, so yeah, I'd actually been putting off walking around the ship for a while. Uh, I talked to people that basically I had to to do the other stuff I wanted to do. Uh, but in general, I was putting that off. Since I normally do that first, I wanted to do it a little bit later than normal. Okay, I've tied in strings, replaced the grip too. Those balls won't know what to whack them. Oh, tennis club, okay. You know, isn't that one of the tennis club's rackets? Yeah, Odd and the others swiped it from the academy for me. Even though they're in hiding, they took the time to send it over. Ah, uh, is that the case? Okay. You know you could just buy a tennis racket in, like, any of the places we land. You didn't need to. <laughs> I I'm pretty sure it's common enough that it's not, like, something you need on special order or something like that. Any notable city would have, like, a sports store somewhere, right? I was thinking that maybe we could uh, put up a net in the training hall and hold some practice matches, you know? Bringing a sweat might help us get our heads together before we leave for Crossbell. I see. I am proud of you for taking the initiative like this. Uh, and here I was thinking she'd be a nervous wreck. Universe Inner Savage Skull 15 Love. <laughs> you know, you should stop by and check it out if you have a second instructor. It'd really help me strengthen my resolve, let's say. Let's say. Okay. I don't really know what that means, but if Una finds it helpful. Hmm. So I have been told in the comments that one, apparently there is another bonding event that uh, unlocks later. And two, uh, people have started to make suggestions. I don't have all what was suggested internalized. Uh, but I'm not going to do those probably for another, at least another episode. So, keep them coming if you want. Uh, at the minimum, I'm going to be doing the ones I'm definitely going to do. Uh, today. If not all of them, at least some of them. Oh. Or maybe I'll do some side quests for the people here too. Huh. I forgot that I picked up like two or three of these on the ship last time. That we had one of these uh, in-betweens. Uh, it's not looking easy for both of them. I just hope we can work together well. Something bothering you, Stark? Oh, uh, greetings, Instructor Reen. Well, Sydney and Kyrie are currently on the surface to help the main campus. I'm not sure if I follow. What kind of help are you talking about here? Well, the issue is that the Durflinger's medicinal stock has been depleted to the point where it's no longer enough. Ah, right, I did talk to some people about that. We are asked if we could lend any of ours, but we don't really have that flexibility, you see. But Kyrie said he can produce some for us as long as we can find the necessary ingredients. Ah, okay, I see. He's amazing at that kind of stuff, isn't he? Yeah, he really is. So it looks like he needs two different ingredients to do it. We have the Durfling hiding out by what's left of the Sutherland Field Exercise Camp. According to Kyrie, we head over to the main road and camp's outskirts to be able to acquire both. Uh, happen to be around... Okay. Yeah, search is not going well. So basically, we need to go and help them, yeah? Yeah. I'm not so sure about that, Stark. Something feels a little off to me, so I think I'll lend them a hand. Oh, would you? That would certainly be a huge help. Definitely, I don't mind at all. I'm free right now, uh, anyway. Oh, am I? Okay, so I'm doing it right now. I wasn't just accepting the quest. Okay, got it. Where are they searching? Uh, Hamel Rune Road and Barn By Road. Thanks again. Okay, I am just accepting it. Got it. Got it. Hey, Duvely. That is not a tennis racket. Oh, are you performing weapon, uh, weapon maintenance, Duvely? Naturally. My lord is waiting at the shrine after all. Ines and Inea are uh, as well, surely. But no one asks you to babysit me, Swarzer. Focus on taking care of yourself first. Now that I think about it, the shop should be uh, done polishing what I left there. The time to use it hasn't come yet. For now, I need to keep my focus on what's directly in front of me. Hmm. Left something at the shop. No, I'll do it. Later, though. I might even save that for, like, the last thing I do before heading out to Grosbell. It would have some sense to it. Hey, Elise. Uh, taking a break by yourself? Yes, the operations are done for the moment. I just have a uh, little bit of work left. Work? Yes, actually, it has something to do with you. 
Uh... Run? <laughs> I'll be able to tell you about it soon. Definitely run. I'm curious, but I'll leave it for now. Just don't push yourself too hard, yeah? Okay. Ugh. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Pretty good, right? This is my latest recipe. Blue cheese soup. I, uh, I reduced it a whole lot to really bring out the ingredients' essential flavors. Yeah, but are the ingredients' essential flavors good? I... Uh, well, li listen. I've got nothing against blue cheese in itself. But getting it in such a concentrated form is a little overwhelming. It packs a real punch, that's for sure. I knew you guys would like it. It took a lot of work, but knowing it measures up to Class 7's high standards makes that uh, worth it. I don't think my is... Okay, that's, that is absolutely not what I said. I'm getting some serious deja vu here. What are your... Fermented foods are a big part of Nord cuisine, and I've never encountered something... Uh, encountered anything but the smell this fun... Fun... Uh, fun... Uh, um, so you can't knock until you try it. I just have to let my taste buds be the judge over my nose. On another note... Ah, uh, palm. I will do my due diligence and lose. And I will lose to you, Gaius. Who's apparently better than all the above. Go easy on me. Shut up! I will not go easy on you! Or I'll be lazy and... Easiest way to... <laughs> I had the wind at my back. In a sense. <laughs> oh, that's the easiest way to lose, isn't it? Uh, that's what you call giving up entirely. <laughs> uh, no. Interesting. Hundred form military combat maneuver twenty two plunging slice. Ah, how am I supposed to improve this attack? This isn't the only one giving me trouble. Why the hell is it so difficult? Like I've said a million times, you're overthinking things, Wayne. It's not just recreating how a move looks from the outside. You need to grasp the logic behind it. Not that I'm in a position to offer much advice. Hey, I'm fairly good at, you know, sword stuff. Maybe I can help. Jessica, Wayne, hey. Getting a bit of training in. Instructor Reen. We are, in a certain sense. I've asked Jessica to observe me right now. Even though I know she wants to focus on her own training. I'm sorry, Jessica, I'm being selfish. Oh, I don't mind at all. In fact, observing your movements is good for my own training. It gives me another approach. I'm sorry, I can offer better advice. The slide in school does have its share of fencing techniques, but overall it's primarily focused on spears. Any help or advice I share just ends up being more conceptual than anything concrete. No, it's incredibly helpful. It's proving to be a good reference for my improvement. Well, yeah, I I'm of the opinion that all perspectives and opinions have value in some form, so I, I get that. But you have to be able to filter it correctly in order to properly make use of it. Uh, with the way things are uh, for me right now, it's not so much who's giving me instruction or advice. It's a battle with myself. I must overcome my own limits. I won't keep you any longer, Jessica. You really should focus on your own training. I appreciate all the help. You don't need to worry about me, Instructor Reen, I promise. I ain't a... Huh. You know, that's making some good points. But I would like to tie in Jessica's development, too, seeing as she's here and all. Maybe I should call in the girls, too. Sure. All right! Uh, so I have an interesting proposal for you. Uh, all right. So I have an interesting proposal for the two of you. In the end, there's no better form for training than sparring. So if we can find a way to make your training more meaningful, just leave it up to me. Can I get you two here to wait for a moment? Instructor Reen? Is he? What girls? Yeah, I assume we're jumping right into this. Okay. Oh, both of them. That's a... That's an interesting choice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how the hell did I wind up here? <laughs> you grumbled, do believe, but you were kind enough to help out in the end, were you not? I, I just thought it would be good to get some exercise in. I'm just here for my benefit, that's all. <laughs> Instructor Reen, what's... Laura S. Arsaid and Duvalee the Swift. Does this mean that you're going to have a spar? You got it. You and Wayne are going to fight as a team. Uh, that's, um... Is this gonna be like the, uh, previous games where we had 
Um, how did I forget her name? Jessica. Oh, for, for some reason. No, no, I... It's like, I know the name. It's just like, for some reason, I look at her and I think Laura in a lot of ways, because she really reminds me of Laura in a lot of ways. And for some reason, my name just focused Laura. No, Laura's not her name. Laura's the other person. Uh, uh, one of my dreams have come true, thanks to you agreeing to be involved. What's with this arrangement, Dr. Reen? Your 104 military combat fencing techniques adopt the forms of the Arsade and their styles. And do release a sword technique, the basics of which you learned from the Steel Maiden, shares many points in common with the Arsade style. You find much more to learn from them than my eight leaves one blade style. The same may be said for Jessica's slight in school techniques, of course. Yes, that's exactly right. I guess that makes sense. So this is probably the ideal type of training for us. Seems like a real challenge, but that just means it's truly worth doing. So who are we going to control? <laughs> Let's get this started. I won't be doing it easy on either of you. No, oh, I. I want to see both of you reach your new heights. It'll be the groundwork for your future uh, development. Yes, ma'am. Understood. Now draw your okay, weapons. yeah, we are. Show us the strength that dwells within you. Yes! Or mine! Okay. I assume. Yeah, no, it's crap. Uh, been a freaking while. Strength down seems not horrible. I assume. Oh, that's not perfect. She's actually sort of vulnerable. Same with her. Interesting. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. That's what we want. There. <laughs> Just even get the freaking. Yeah, she got the stuff back from the freaking. Uh, whatever. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, they don't have any orders either. I thought that might be the case. Nothing with a really quick turnaround. <laughs> Haven't got an unbalance yet either. There's the match, maybe. Uh oh. Take this. That's how you get that off in time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Complete immunity strength up. Interesting. I'll withstand anything! Ha! <laughs> Try and see through this. Ha! At least there doesn't seem to be any freaking. Got you. Oh my goodness, someone actually unbalanced. Ha! I'll withstand anything. Ha! Okay, that does that did stack for the string. Got it. That's what I was wondering. Got you.
Oh, I can't check her own, like, evasion, could I? I couldn't. Delay! Perfect. Uh. <sighs> Would this actually be better? I think the strength down is actually pretty useful. It's not that strong. Oh, that's only one. Okay. Double burn. Or mine. While we're both close. Or mine. No, oh, probably she. I probably would get her first. Down is not fantastic, but if she can keep the uh, keep that up for a little bit, that'd be great. Their CP really does a good job of keeping up with everything. Enough? Nope, not quite. Out of insight, too. Impressively done. Ah, I won't be able to get that. Unless the delay is enough, maybe. Got you. But it didn't it didn't go off, okay. <laughs> Oh, I don't even have orders in the first place. I forgot about that. Gotten so many freezes. Behold, no! The soul of our saved. Now. Oh shit. Radiant Phoenix Blade. 
Wow, that did nothing. She didn't even die from that? That did nothing. Uh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> she went well dumb. Done. I'm impressed. What did she? What did she? What was she trying to do there? Uh, that's enough. I, I think we just about made it. Right, we were at our limits there. True enough. You guys, uh, I actually think you two work very well together. Between the burn and freeze, and the, he's a bit tanky. She's a bit. She is, she's actually got a really interesting set of crafts there. They're really versatile. Something that would be really useful in one of my, uh... High, um... High, like, status effect style uh, physical attackers. On one of those builds. You both have kept up marvelously. <laughs> I suppose we could say that. That, that was pretty brilliant, you two. I hope you both feel like you got a lot out of this. I did. That was great help. It was nice being able to identify areas that need improvement. <laughs> I knew you'd do well with it, Jessica. I must say, the stiffness I felt before the match has completely disappeared. Yeah, I can tell just by watching. It looks like you unconsciously absorb Lauren Dibbley's techniques, even Jessica's too. In any case, it looks like the repetitive training might actually be a counterproductive approach for you. I understand the struggle. Learning to let the tension fade from your shoulders is actually quite difficult. Sometimes you must swing recklessly, without giving much thought into anything in particular. Uh, th thank you, Laura. I'll keep that in mind. You also need to rely on those around you. Take a look around and you'll find yourself surrounded by many capable warriors. It'd be a crime not to seek their advice. But what are you looking at? Don't give me that look who's talking face! <laughs> I was actually thinking the quite the opposite. So, <laughs> agreed. I was just thinking that you've changed quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a bit cute, too. Yes, I agree. Anyhow, you've both given me some invaluable experience here. Thank you. No problem. Uh, those are always fun. I, I like that. That is a good set of quests that they've had, I believe. AP up, I mean, I assume by winning, basically. Uh, okay, we have higher levels. So, shoot, which one was which? Uh, okay, so magic for this group, and... Yeah, I really like the, uh, ones where they put you in completely new characters with a very designed and almost this one's minimal... Tough. Be careful. ...set, basically. Uh, don't take me lightly! Now! I'll assist! <gasps> okay! That happened. Not gonna get any of those off in time. Uh, oh, all you guys. Okay. Um, interesting thought, interesting thought. Interesting thoughts. What I really want to do... Mm, yep. Probably that. Resonate! Divine Song Formation! It's my turn! <laughs> Fire wouldn't be horrible if I focus one down, basically. Water's super good though, so let's do it. I'll support 
Thank oh. you. Oh, wow, that, that did a ton. My turn. That did a ton. Yeah. My turn. Holy moly. Target's eliminated. Move out. That worked. Uh, I did it. Stats updated. <laughs> I did it. Okay, so apparently I, w I was told that apparently you just need to go through a battle with them as one of your party members, and then they'll get all the things they should have learned up to that point, basically. Level up or not, I think that probably was the case. That was phenomenal, everyone. You have to take down a level 2 type 1, so you do have some skills after all. At any rate, here are your rewards. Thanks, Duvali. Remain diligent in your training. In, in any case, you've got to experience what really makes the sleep here special. I mean, will you let me? Neither way. On to my physical group. Okay. Physical battle group, go. Oh, uh... A worthy foe. Be on your guard! Edge. Interesting. Back burn, at you. baby, freaking burn. Wait, why can't I swap? Oh, it's just the four. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I, I brought people in. Oh no, I put Ash and Randy back in the support group, thinking I could pull pull them in early on. Whoops. Twenty percent of eight. <laughs> All right. That probably wouldn't be the worst. Very well. <laughs> you wide open. All right. Too slow. They're down. Too slow. Let's go. Oh no, Arcane Gale, I forgot about it. It's pretty meh, actually. Power D plus, break C plus, unbalance plus five. Is that even notably better than what Gale was before? Gale's perfected essence hits twice. I guess D plus power hitting twice might Arcane be good. Gale! Ha! Unclear. My duty calls. Delay ain't bad though. Especially with Try a crit up this. on this, meaning... Strike! Strike as one! I hear you! Predictable! Alright! Yeah. Moving out! They're down! Too slow! Very well! Check! Very well! Yes! Now! Um. Here I go! Yes! Now! You're wide open! I'm up! Arcane Gale! 
Horrible. Yuna, that was perfect. <laughs> Guess I must have a pretty good instructor, huh? I had a worse I did I wasn't able to use the strategy I was planning to. I was like, oh I could put Crow and Jubilee up front, they're fast. They'll get turns early, I'll switch in Ash and Randy, I'll use S breaks early, and then I could switch them out after that later on. And it's like, nope, not that strategy. Gotta think of a new one. Alright, got it. Summon Valimar too. Yeah, I did it! Summon him too, if I didn't charge. I haven't used her in a while, so... Uh... Fire shot from... Enhanced gun breaker before charging. I'm gonna have to remember to actually check these out at some point. That's how it's done! That's phenomenal, everyone! Yeah? Ooh... The Thor's Unity rating uh, is the only thing I'm really interested in, in terms of rewards. I don't use those uh, other things basically at all, so. Hello, group of people talking with. No, no, you're talking with her. Instructor Reen, were you eavesdropping on our girly conversation, you naughty man? No, I literally just got here. Hey, I was just passing by. Don't get any weird ideas. I can pretty much imagine what kind of conversation this is, anyways. The idea of Reen imagining our conversation is a joy in and of itself. Wait, no, no, sorry. The idea of Reen imagining our conversations is a joy in and of itself. She, look at her face. She is determined. She is the most confident person in the world right now saying that. <laughs> I would certainly like to hear exactly what it is you think we're talking about. <laughs> in explicit detail, if you please. I, I didn't mean I was thinking of anything specific. Just a general impression. Dorothy has such an impressive imagination. I'm never left disappointed by our chats. Still, I really should have brought my own book along like Musei did. You really haven't changed a bit, Your Highness. <laughs> I forgot about that being a, like, an aspect of Elfin. It doesn't come up much, because we don't talk to her casually that often. Ah, I heard that Tatiana got Dorothy's autograph at the Summer Festival in Heimdall. I was a little late, but I also got the book I bought signed. Now, uh, this is now an Egret family, and by proxy, a Cayenne family, heirloom. Uh, yeah... I don't think it works that way. <laughs> I don't imagine that the princess would have such encyclopedic knowledge of my favorite genre. It's, it's quite an honor, really. I'd love to take the opportunity to talk about this. And that... Uh, oh, thank you. And that... <clears throat> my, it seems I've gotten carried away again. I should probably try to keep myself more composed and mixed company. Uh, luck with that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. What's that? Hey, Fee, is that a box of cigars you got there? Hmm. Yeah, and a lighter too. The boss left them behind. I was thinking it might make a decent memento of him. I see. He was into that sort of thing, I take it. Yep, heavy drinker, heavy smoker, goes hand in hand. Shocking, he died young, just not by them. Shocking, shocking, shocking. I guess... How old was he? He seemed like he was in like his 30s or 40s or something like... Well, probably more like 40s. Maybe? I have no idea. I heard Sarah's dad was the one who actually converted him to this brand. Really? Now? That does seem like the kind of thing two Jaegers could bond over. Make sure you take good care of it. I will. I will the lighter, at least. Not sure what to do with the cigars, though. I'm not so keen on smoking them myself. Have you ever tried? I'm actually just not trying. Actually, are you free right now, Reen? I am not smoking with you. Something I want to take care of before we head to Crossbell. I am not smoking with you. I think I see where this is going. What with that box of keepsake cigars. Just on the basis of possibly smoking, because... I will say this, I don't know how often I've said it, I've probably said it before in at least one of my series. One of the few things in the world that make me actively angry just by smelling it is the smoke. Is tobacco smoke smells. I absolutely hate that with an actual passion. So no. No game. No. You two look like you're discussing something important. Oh hey, Rain. I'm just talking about a fan letter I got from a patient of St. Ursula's. 
I told you about her before, remember? The little girl who loves the radio dramas. I do not remember, but I'm sure you did. Oh, that's right. You mentioned that she'd been in the hospital for a long time now. Is it... I, I do from... No... I remember there being a couple people that seemed like they were there for a long time back when we were doing crossbow games. I... Little girl that isn't Shizuku seems... I'm not remembering that. I remember there being a little boy. Come to think of it, I think Monk might have mentioned her, uh, mentioned her letters too. Yep, that's her. Her name's Nina. Well, Nina enjoyed last week's episode so much that she wanted to write in and tell the station how much she enjoyed it. Getting direct feedback from the fans like this is the greatest joy a director can experience. Oh, it's so heartwarming. So humbling. It must be hard being stuck in a hospital, though. Especially as a kid. Well, I know. Maybe I can write a book and let her know that I'm rooting. Uh, maybe I can write her back. Not a book. Why did you say a book, Ago? And let her know that I'm rooting for her. Really? That would be wonderful. I know she'd be thrilled to hear from you. Thank you so much, Monk. Don't mention it. Besides, it'd also give me a chance to tell her all about the special episode we've got coming up. And, you know, advertise them in. Use there as an advertisement. Yeah, there it is. I'm a little mortified at the idea that she might hear me on the radio, but if it'll make her feel better... Don't worry, Reen. It's just one little letter. Besides, everyone's going to be tuning in anyway once our promos start ramping up. Yeah, I'm ready to crawl into a hole and die now. <laughs> uh, if I didn't do that quest, would that have uh, had different dialogue? It is interesting how that's, like, just developing in the background. Hmm. Hmm, there's only so much I can do from here. Oh, like I just had over there myself. Elisa, what are you up to? Oh, Green. Oh, you remember what my, uh, uh, mother mentioned about, uh, on the Gargantua, right? About the fifth? Sure. Ah, I see. The one produced by the fifth development division. Interesting. What were you ahead of? Because you became uh, head of one of the divisions, right? Was it fifth? So this is your capstone project. The RF Group's fifth development division. There are several rumors regarding them during the Civil War, but it all kind of blew over uh, before I could get to the heart of it. I'd assume it was the noble or reformist factions doing a department created in run in absolute secrecy. But in truth, it was the Black Workshop who had been keeping it under wraps. Yeah, it even slipped under the noses of Sharon and my mother. Seems they had a hand in those practice combat shells, not to mention the Goliath Altina lost control in. I guess you know who came aboard as a specialist to help bring about the Zalber Soldats. So the questions at hand, then, are when these took place and who the sat behind them were. Right, if we were at Reinford HQ and Rower, we can investigate at a much deeper level. But it looks like Mother and Grandfather still haven't been able to make their way back. Nice scene. Meaning that we wouldn't have the access we'd be considered. Probably enemies of the state. <laughs> Elisa seems a lot more positive now that she's gotten past the incident on the Gargantua. I'd like to find out a few things myself about the so-called division. Maybe I could help her out. Tempting. That is actually very interesting. As a discussion point alone. Oh, Reen, good work out there in Ulster. Yeah, thanks. Things got kind of dicey by the end there, but we found a way to make it through. I had to admit it, but you could step in was really what brought uh, the whole thing off. I don't think any of us could have gotten through to odds like you did. Yeah, it's a good reminder of what we're up against, of what the curse can do to people. At least everything worked out in the end. I can't thank you both enough. Oh, yeah, so uh, I was told apparently, yeah, Estelle and Joshua were the main characters of that... Uh, manga, the Ring of Judgment one. I don't remember that. Legitimately, I don't remember what they did in that at all, outside of maybe being present and hitting stuff. <laughs> like, I, I I remember Tovel being significant and his relation with um, Ein being significantly like foreshadowed by that. Yeah, as well as the whole saving. Uh, of the sister is part of all that. Joshua and Estelle, maybe I'm just forgetting something, but it almost feels like they're tag-alongs to that story. I don't know. Yeah, hey, don't act like you had nothing to do with it, Doa. We even got Hugo to come to the senses, but, well, 
Yeah. He's got a fair bit he's gone. Uh, he's got to take care of still. I can see about doing what I can to support him some. I think that'd be real help. Thanks, Becky. Oh, that's good. I do wonder, with all these allies piling up, when they're gonna really jump into the foray. Well, look at this! All class 7 swordsmen together in one place! Yeah. And purely by coincidence. Although once we were here, the conversation naturally started to gravitate towards swordsmanship. We were just discussing who we all look up to the most, and whose level we aspire to reach someday. Tractorine, is there anyone uh, from your school that you admire like that? I'm gonna think of it. I've never asked you that myself. I imagine you've got no shortage of skilled eight leaves practitioners. And I know some of them. We met Cassius Bright not long ago. And there's also Arius McLean, the Divine Blade of Win. True. Even Cassie is a song of a sword, so to speak. There's no denying that both of them are the kind of swordsmen I can only dream of matching up to someday. The thing is, Cassius has mastered the first form, and Arius the master of the second. They're pretty different from my seventh form. In that sense, Master Kafai is the only person I can truly aspire to match. I see. That makes sense. The Osset and Vandus styles both have a lot of variation within the different forms. Though I get the feeling that it's even more pronounced in the Leaves school. I must agree, really. After all, aside from the seven forms Irene spoke of, there's even an unarmed combat form. I hate to flatter my own school, but it is a very adaptive discipline. <laughs> Uh, the Eight Leaves One Blade School is even more varied than I'd imagine. I hope to get across swords with other practitioners someday. Going up against Reen just isn't a challenge anymore. Our conversation earlier really helped to motivate me. I feel like I can fit in an extra training session today. I've got to make sure to put the extra energy to good use. <laughs> sure. I continually strive to improve my fencing techniques, but will I ever really get, uh, reach the level of mastery Rufus has achieved? In any case, I'll persevere with my training so that you may always consider me a worthy ally. Oh, I always consider you guys worthy allies. Especially with the game making it so easy. Oh no, Sharon. The game making it so easy to level people. You know, Sharon, knowing you're in the galley always puts me incredibly at ease. <laughs> it's truly an honor to hear that. All this makes me think back to those times in the Trista dormitory. It's already been about two years since then, hasn't it? That sounds about right. Time really does fly, doesn't it? You know, you really did a lot for me back when I was a student. You were even the Blade Master at the school festival. <laughs> that was indeed a fond memory of mine. Alright. Didn't she, like, completely decimate Crow or something? Man, it's been a long time since I did that. Though it seems like Blade has been overtaken by Advantage Masters lately. I, I sort of wish Blade stuck around, even if it was, like, in a lower role. Like, I like Blade because it's a simple game. Vantage Masters has been fun, and I sort of misplayed, though. It was a nice, simple, okay, let's do this, this, this. It's like playing, like, Blackjack or some other, like, straightforward game, that, that sort of thing, where it's not overly complicated, and it's just a matter of each time you do it is a bit different because there's always a little bit of a strategy variation. It's quick and easy. That sort of game is just fun, basically as a distraction, like something that you can do on the side every once, uh, once in a while, which is perfect for a game like this. I, th I don't think Vantage Masters has gotten so bad in terms of the complexity that it makes me not want to even touch it anymore, but it definitely is probably beyond what I'd invest in if I didn't keep winning. Ah, <laughs> uh, would you care for a game? Okay, sure. Sure. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. Of course she has Shadow. She knows all She knows all the good strats. And immediately Oh my goodness, this this freaking game. Oh my goodness, I got three of those cards all at once. That is impressive and horrifying and impressive and mainly horrifying. Thank you. 
Oh well. Um, that is an advantage. I should probably take advantage of that. That had the thunder one. Might be a good idea. Let's do it this way. Oh, that's not enough. You have all the right strats except the right ones. My defeat. You didn't even you didn't use it like the best way. You had the right guards too. Quite a few of them at least. Uh no. <laughs> uh that's not a fantastic side. What are you reading? Wait, don't tell me. No, not that book. It, it's not what you think. I, I don't even have any more fit in, uh, forbidding grim no. Uh, oh. Uh, these are just some notes left by uh, Isola Milstein, my mother. <laughs> I actually forgot about the Forbidden Grimoire thing. I thought you were reading the smut out there that uh, <laughs> the princess and them were talking about. Grandmother collected the ones she saved and sent them to me. Oh, that's all it was. Your mother was a wandering witch before Vita was, right? Yes, but her magical abilities weren't really all that powerful. But she was always eager to learn. She had a good many ties to the outside world and took it upon herself to look into the Empire's curse on her own. She must have been such a big influence on my uh, sister when she was young. An incredible person at that, from what you've told me. She passed away from an unfortunate accident, right? That's right. Though well, I'm not sure if it was the work of the curse, per se. It's probably just a coincidence, right? Then again, I suppose dealing with the curse's aftermath in itself is a form of being caught up in it. Yeah, you're probably right about that one. That said, there's actually quite a few entries that have nothing to do with her mission. It's as if I'm rekindling the memories I had of her from when I was young. It feels nice, you know? Yeah. I can imagine. Green has a similar thing going on, yeah? Oh, by the way, I saw a little good luck spell written in here somewhere. Wanna try it out, Reen? Oh, that's interesting. It might help relax your body and mind from any fatigue you're feeling. I promise it's nothing sketchy or dangerous like before. <laughs> it's alright, Emma, I trust you. A magic charm written by Emma's mama. Sounds intriguing. Indeed. It's on my list of things to potentially do. Okay, let's go do something that I'm definitely going to do then. Finish this out. For the episode. Oh, uh, I could do either of theirs. Oh, what should I do first? Altino will get more clicks in the thumbnail. <laughs> she probably will, to be honest. <laughs> if I'm just gonna pick one. Uh, Altina, who are you talking to? Admittedly, I don't really typically make choices based on that almost ever. If anything, I try to avoid spoilers or keep things vague when I do put stuff in the thumbnails and whatnot, but still, you know. Oh, Instructor Reen, actually. Perfect timing. Would you mind giving this a listen, Reen? George! Oh, hey there, Reen. Didn't you just... Okay, well, sort of acting like he just noticed I was there. I heard about the Yeager King situation. I'm glad he pulled through. Yeah, thanks. So, do you happen to have any information concerning the workshop? Yeah, I actually have something I'd like to get Altina's confirmation on. Figure I get in touch with her via the nonsense, too. Something like confirmation on? The headquarters of the Black Workshop is located in the base of the Greyborn Mountain Range. However, it appears to have been abandoned at some point. It is completely deserted now. Interesting. What? You mean the place where I was held captive? The very same. Not only is Albert gone, but he took an enormous store of research data and experimenter Solver Soldats with him. 
Where might he be, then? When I checked around this time yesterday, it had been already wiped clean. I had no idea they were planning anything like that. Maybe I simply wasn't trusted with the information. I was hoping I could get your thoughts on this, Altina, seeing as that's where you're originally from. I wish I had something useful to share. Unfortunately, my memory of that time is still a bit hazy. However, I think this might actually prove to be a good opportunity for us. How so? I'm trying to track them down, so I can't really help directly, but... If you're interested, you should have enough time to investigate the workshop site before we head to the next shrine. Gotcha. Well, it definitely could be a good chance to find out some new information. Though, the... The probability of finding anything inclusive there is likely close to nil. Still, I don't think it would be an entirely fruitless endeavor. There could be intel on the Zauber Soldats, S-weapons, and the combat shells. And homunculi like me and Milliam. You... you... I mean, you guys were the end results of a line of them, yeah? You think they might have started up any others as fail-saves in case you two didn't work out? Maybe there's ones from before that are still around somewhere? I've secured a tentative infiltration uh, route. I know it's asking a lot for you guys to trust me, given the mess I've made of things. If you do decide to do this, though, please contact me through Altina. Yeah, you bet. I'll be making preparations just in case. Huh. Oh. It doesn't give me the choice there, just... You know what? That actually feels like it's going to be much bigger. Than I should... Commit to at the moment. <laughs> hmm. Let's just finish talking around the ship, at least with some of you guys. Man, you're always asking for something. I don't know what's on your plate, uh, but I'm pretty busy with my own shit here. Alright, well, I'll let you know. Peace. Ash, who's that? Well, if it isn't Thor's biggest busybody, way to eavesdrop on me. It's nothing. A bad influence from back home hit me up, that's all. Oh, is it that, that friend of yours? A bad influence. Come again? Yeah, you met him once. But he's not the kind of uh, guy goody two-shoes like you would want to cozy up with. Name's Brad. He's a real shitster. Oh, wait. I think I... Yeah, I know what you mean. That friend of yours from Raquel. He's the one who tried to sell you out to that informant when you stuck into the city, right? Yeah, yes, he's wrangled together my own Fafnir buddies uh, from during the Civil War. Now they're back in operation and up to their old tricks. Well, looks like they're sticking with low-level crap, like extortion and brawling. Nothing the IDF can give two shits about. When we were doing the field exercises before, I ended up giving him my contact info. And now he says he has something to discuss with me, whatever the hell that means. That is a little concerning, I have to say. Must have his reasons for contacting you like this, though, right? To be perfectly honest, given everything that's going down, I don't really have time to be dicking around with that bastard. We'll focus on our own problems, and uh, you focus on yours. Nash. Definitely, but later. I don't think I actually have time to run through everything properly at the moment. Oh, I already did everything down here. Okay. Uh, I am recording this the day before. And I need enough to actually, you know, make an episode. Which is always fun. But, uh, yeah, I think... Oh, wow, I haven't gone to Aaron Village yet? Maybe I should do that. Or, I don't know. This is probably going to be a shorter episode. If it ends up being a shorter episode, I'll just do longer next time when I actually have time to record. Or I won't have time to record, I don't know. Sort of back, backed up at the moment because I've been busy lately. But, uh, either way, I'll see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone.